of uh, Explorer Denmark. As we told, we are Explorer, so we are going to explore most of uh, the amazing part of it. The last time we sold some of them and we are very happy to get a very good response from you. So today we are starting from Kong's new talk. Let's start the journey. So here we are in Kong's new talk and uh, this is the first place which I will really like to show you. This is the Roald Dennis Crater and uh, it was founded in uh, 1748 as a trader for the king but later on then it was uh, renowned as uh, the trader for the country. It is especially presents opera, uh, the Royal Dennis Ballet, classical concerts uh, as well as the drama and is one of the iconic place for reflecting the uh, art and culture of Denmark. So just in front of the Royal Dennis uh, uh, trader we have a statue of the Christian five you can see over there. He is the one who made this place and called it the Kong's New Talk, which is called as the King's New Square. He constructed it on uh, 1670 to uh, extend his uh, fortified city and it is just um, at the end of uh, the walking street and uh, right now they are uh, doing the construction for the metro. That is the reason it's, it's looking this messy. Otherwise during the summer, during the sunny time, you can see a lot of people hanging out here enjoying the sun and having a very good time and if you are coming to Denmark and if you are planning to visit then of course in the near future it is going to be constructed and you can have a very good time over there. Uh, it is the first metro line near to the walking street and uh, they are making new metro line which can uh, get uh, attached with the Copenhagen Central Station but this is the oldest one and it is near the walking street so you can have access very easily here. So walking ahead uh, we are just in front of the most luxurious and deluxe hotel of the whole world. Uh, hotel Douglas House. Uh, it is one of the prestigious hotels which lies in the central of uh, Copenhagen city and its name is uh, French and in English it is called as the uh, uh, England Hotel and it was built in 1755 but after the fire it was renovated in 1875 and it is one of the most famous hotel in the whole world as well. So if you are coming to Denmark and you are not covering it then that you are missing something. as well so we are having a summer very good weather uh, as you can see today is also very sunny we are at the right place now because this is the place where you should be if you are really fan of enjoying the sunshine so this is new house so let's follow me to explore it more and see what you can do here the history it was built by the Christian five during 1670s as a gateway from the sea towards the inner city of uh, Kong's new Chow. and it was especially famous for the sheep handling the cargo and the fishermen catch furthermore it is also uh, famous for the notorious beer sellers and um, omen of pleasure as well so let's go inside and explore some of the more amazing part of it and we can show you what you can do more here. You can see the environment here, how the people are enjoying the cool summer and having a really great time here. So you can imagine how the New Haven is famous and what is, is it famous for. New Haven is especially famous for best restaurants and uh, the food. If you have a really long day and you want to have a very nice time then it can be one of the best place. Buying a beer from near store, some food and 
having a cozy time here can be one of the best way to end your tired and busy day. So if you are coming in Copenhagen then New Haven is the best place to forget your problems, tiredness, everything and enjoy the nice atmosphere with the music and classical environment here. So here it was especially famous for docking different seats from all over the world but now you can see you also can have a very good ride for an hour just with 50 corner. It will give you a channel trip and you can explore more and enjoy the environment and see the beautiful environment over here. So this can be the best idea to enjoy your vacation, enjoy your summer and have a really good time with your family, friends and your relatives. of the New Haven are the oldest building of Copenhagen. Among them, the house number 9 is the oldest one and it dates back to uh, 1681 and it is believed that the uh, uh, house hasn't been uh, altered till now so it has it is in its original shape. So you can see still uh, the beautiful architecture and the beautiful buildings over here. Some of them had turned into the famous uh, restaurants and hotels to serve uh, the tourists which who come here to enjoy the summer and uh, this is one of the house which is still maintaining its original It is one of the most relaxing moments to sit here in New Haven and enjoy this relaxing summer. Yeah, if you are surprised like why these boats are just lying over here, as a major tourist attraction, they are always uh, lying beside here. You can have an idea like in the past what type of boats the sailor used to sell and they look pretty old even though they are having a really good care, so still they are lying here for us. We should be very thankful for them. As I already told, the boats lying beside here, they are like a national heritage of uh, the Denmark. And uh, they are one of the major attractions of uh, the tourists as well. So you can see they are still renovating and repairing it, taking a very good care for us to explore more, see and uh, find how beautiful they are still holding the ancient design, ancient architecture in it. So it, it is one of the most famous and beautiful places and things here. The house of New Haven are the oldest house and constant, constantly they are renovating it. And uh, you can see the house over there in the next side, the house number 20. Uh, it used to be the house of uh, the famous author uh, of uh, Denmark, the Hans Christian Andersen. He had lived there for 18 years, so it had increased the importance of this place more. As it was also recognized as the place of S.C. Uh, Andersen who lived here for 18 years. Every place has its own importance and one history and you can see here just uh, in front of the New Haven in this bridge there are a lot of lock uh, which has a lot of names written in them and with love so this is the place where you can put your lock here for the long lasting relationship and it is believed that if you are going to lock your key here and throw your keys over there then it is believed that your relationship will last long and it will stay happy, prosperous and you can have a very good love life.
So if you are coming here, then this is the thing you can do. One of the amazing moments and I'm more than happy to come here and enjoy this amazing environment have a very good time here and I hope some of you uh, will explore this uh, place in one time in your life and uh, see how beautiful and amazing is it today we are gonna end our uh, travel diary here Next time, we will show you the another famous place of Copenhagen, which is the Paper Island. And it is especially famous for the street food. So you can have a very good food there and we will take you to that place with the hope that one day you will come to Copenhagen and explore this place and feel these feelings on your own. So for today, goodbye, have a very good time and see you.